This is Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake, an upcoming RPG classic reinvented for the modern age. Since it was announced over three years ago, fans have been anticipating any kind of update, and finally after so much waiting, the game has been re-revealed with a new style and a worldwide release date of November 14th, 2024. Needless to say, the hype is at an all-time high right now. We haven't had a mainline Dragon Quest game in a really long time, so fans are absolutely going nuts over this, and some people might not understand why this is such a big deal. So today I thought I'd go over why Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake is going to be the must-play RPG of 2024. Now, you might be thinking, why is this such a big deal? I mean, why play this game from 1988 when you could, you know, just play the latest entry, Dragon Quest XI, instead? I mean, it's a newer game, so clearly it must be better, right? Wrong. You see, Dragon Quest has been, for the most part, a consistent series over the years. It's a series that defined Japanese role-playing games, and it's also one of the longest-running game franchises of all time, with a distinct and recognizable style. The combat, the art, the music, all these elements have been crucial in carving out Dragon Quest's unique identity, but where the series changes is in its core game design. Over the years, Dragon Quest has shifted towards the common trend of cinematic, story-heavy experiences that are pretty much on rails with little room for player agency, with the latest entry, Dragon Quest XI, being so focused on the narrative that you can't really do things out of order or skip over content. Here everything unfolds in a very deliberate, predetermined manner. It's a linear game, and as a result, it doesn't feel all that role-play-y compared to some other RPGs that offer more freedom. You know, when I think of an RPG, I think of games that actually let you explore a huge world and make decisions and do things differently each playthrough. And as much as I like the game, it feels very shallow in that regard. But the thing is, Dragon Quest wasn't always like this. In the early days of the series way back in the 80s, the games used to be open-world style games where you could travel the game world at your leisure and do anything you want to do. You could tackle the game's objectives in any order, and even skip over bosses and entire story segments if you chose to do so. This kind of freedom hasn't been seen in the series since Dragon Quest III, a Famicom game, and probably the most famous game in the series. This is an RPG rooted in Japanese pop culture because of the mass countrywide hysteria it caused on release day back in 1988, resulting in thousands of people skipping work and school, resulting in the games only being released on weekends from that day forward. The hype was real, mostly due to the new mechanics the game brought to the table. They just nailed everything when it came to this one. The gameplay, the music, the world design, the character building mechanics. It all blends together so perfectly that DQ3 still stands among the best in the series despite being so old. It was a big deal back in the day, and the game's influence can be seen all across the Japanese gaming industry even today. If there's some Japanese RPG you enjoy, chances are this is the game that the creator of that title grew up with. You see, this is where gaming truly peaked, in 1988. It's only gone downhill from there. This game not only gives you freedom with exploration, but it also has this brilliant class system where you can make your own party members choosing from different vocations like warriors, thieves, mages, and more. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses, and the coolest part about this is that you can even change each of their classes, keeping all of their abilities, making for a hybrid class that combines the strengths of both. So for example, you could turn a wizard into a warrior, making a character with high strength and defense, but also the magic spells of a mage. So your only limit is your imagination. It's the kind of game you want to play over and over again just to try something new every time. There's practically infinite replayability with the amount of character combinations, routes, and challenge runs you could take. It's the most delicious RPG experience the world has ever seen. It's gameplay driven, action packed, it isn't bogged down with long cutscenes, and it has a charming simplicity that anyone can immediately grasp. It's like the perfect video game, and Dragon Quest never really gave us this kind of freedom since it started focusing more on the story and less on the gameplay, so this is going to be really special. And this isn't the first time the game is being remade. Dragon Quest 3 has been remade multiple times in the past, adding new content with each remake, but also taking some things away. So there's always been a debate over which version is the best, and this remake looks like it's going to just end that debate, as it seems to not only be including content from previous remakes, but also adding new content such as voice acting, new bosses, a new character class, new story elements, and a ton of gameplay improvements. And that isn't even to mention how amazing the game looks and sounds. It has probably the best graphics I've ever seen from a 
JRPG. In the time we've been waiting for an update, they improved the visuals in so many little ways, expanding upon the ideas from the original with technology from the modern age. It executes the HD 2D style better than any other game, with characters and environments perfectly coexisting in a bright, colorful world that captures the essence of Dragon Quest, backed up by an amazing orchestral soundtrack that just gives the game life. It's a wildly ambitious remake and everything I've ever wanted from a Dragon Quest game. It's like this is the definitive version that the game's creators wanted to make 30 years ago but couldn't because the technology wasn't advanced enough back then, but now we're finally going to see Dragon Quest at its absolute best and I can't wait to play it. If you want to hear me talk more about Dragon Quest, you should definitely check out this video right here. I think you'll definitely enjoy it. I'll see you there.